Two kids. Two kids. Two. Two kids. Two kids. Two kids. Two kids. Kid on a couch. Hello and welcome back to Two Kids on a Couch. I am your host, Carolyn. And uh, today, let's talk about one of the musicals nominated for Best Revival of a Musical, Carolina Change. Carolina Change uh, takes place in 1960s Louisiana. It is about Caroline, a hired woman who works in the basement of a wealthy Jewish family. It has book and lyrics written by Tony Kushner, music written by Janine Tesori, absolute dream team, a very absurdist piece of musical theater that you don't see a lot of, but it's always a good time. It's always a treat, right? Caroline or Change had a revival on London's West End in 2018, did very well. And so they brought it to Broadway. It was just getting started when the pandemic hit and it came back afterwards. It closed earlier this year, I wanna say, mid-February it had its last, no, early January it had its last run. It, it it only got three nominations, which is pretty impressive given how long ago it closed. It was nominated for Best Performance by an Actress in a Leading Role in a Musical, Best Arrival of a Musical, and Best Costume Design in a Musical. So let's, uh, let's talk about the show. The main themes of the show include kind of the difficult nature of love, particularly familial love between mothers and their children, and also kind of the ease of which white savior complex is passed on and perpetuated by our youth. Hits pretty hard. Pretty relevant. Kushner and Tesori do not hold back from telling audiences what they what they need to be hearing about and thinking about. In terms of costume design, I think it's unlikely there are some anthropomorphized characters, the moon, home appliances, as well as a kind of 1960s Louisiana vibe. I think the costumes are great. I'm glad they were nominated. I don't know that they're gonna outshine like the six costumes, you know? I think Sharon D. Clark is the front runner to win. She won the Olivier for the same role uh, when the show was running in London, so that's obviously a point in her favor. She carries the show on her back. Every review I've read has had nothing but like absolute praises to sing about her. I think she is the reason the show has made such a comeback, and I think she deserves a Tony. In terms of best revival of a musical, I want it to win. I don't think it will. And that's a bummer. When the ballot comes out night of, I'm gonna put a little tick mark there but hopes are not especially high. Sad day. So that is Caroline or Change. Uh, it's a great show, if you haven't heard the soundtrack yet. It is a beautiful, wild and wacky, storyful show. I've been walking for like five minutes and I'm already extremely sweaty. Thanks for tagging along. Tune in next time for the next show that uh, you'll be hearing about. Stay couchy, this is Caroline signing off.